Hello, this is Kupal Chakravarti. I am a professional with around 40 years of corporate experience in companies like Pepsi, Reckitt Benkiser, DLF, Unilever Group, and so on. I completed my management degree in the Institute of Management Bangalore and subsequently have been in the corporate sector, except for the last five years where I've been working as an independent consultant and a part-time teacher. Currently, I am associated with the IEMUEM group, which is into engineering, operating engineering and management disciplines, mainly in the Eastern region, but also in Jaipur. And uh, it's one of the leading institutes today in the country. I am going to cover here analytics, which is a subject or a topic which has gained prominence only in the last let's say, 10-15 uh, years. But even in the last 10-15 years, it was not analytics as we know it currently. Currently, it has acquired a different dimension, mainly owing to its conjunction with artificial intelligence or AI. And together, AI and analytics offers immense possibilities for the future. The objective of my three-part presentation is to demystify AI as a discipline and delve on the various facets or aspects of analytics in co combination with artificial intelligence or AI. Thank you. Today I'll be talking on the topic introduction to analytics. Analytics as a topic is highly intriguing and what I will try to try today is to demystify it as far as possible. It goes by various names, like for example, data, uh, or, or some people call it business intelligence, some people call it big data. It goes by various names, but analytics, which are, we are referring to today, is analyzing data, humongous amount of data, in order to generate patterns. Today we are speaking of 326 terabytes of data created each day. And this is the amount of data which has to be processed every single day. Now obviously the entire data has to be is of no use. It has to be filtered out. It has to be structured in a manner which is useful for most of them. So let us look at the evolution of analytics. Evolution of analytics is, uh, analytics has gone through various phases. In 1.0, the focus was more on operational efficiency. People took reports on various aspects of business. What's the sales for the current month, sales of the previous month, or the uh, cost of your product, the wastage in the factory, how much you have spent on marketing and various other things were presented in a report form where people could take meaningful action based on those reports. The focus was on greater operational efficiency. In 2.0, people started capitalizing on unstructured, fast-moving information. And thus came the birth of big data. Unstructured data, where do we find them? In the internet, in social media, huge amount of data, in blogs, in websites, in sensors of various types, IoT as we call them today, in public data initiatives such as the Human Genome Project, or video and audio recordings. These are the, the new technologies have been developed at this stage in order to, to structure or which is architected in a manner to cater to this huge volume of data. Data scientists now had to become business savvy. Earlier they were mainly tech savvy, but they had to understand the nuances of business in order to structure the data in a meaningful manner. 
In 3.0, the data scientists started creating offerings out of big data. Offerings which is not just post-mortem offerings, not just analysis, but information which is going to guide you in your day-to-day -day life. Today, an Uber driver cannot think of going to a particular location without the map. It not only tells you, the customer when he places order for an Uber uh, car, it not only tells him where the cab is located, but also the route that the cab is expected to take and the time it will take to reach it. Now this was, it seems to be a part of our day-to-day -day life today, but that was not the case even 10-15 years back. We had maybe GPS, we had GPS in our cars and things like that. We first, I remember seeing it about 20 years back when I went to the US. Shortly, we, it was available in India. But the manner in which it is provided today was not there earlier, where it also actually tells you how long it will take, which route to take in order to reach in the shortest manner and so on. Then came the LinkedIn, Amazon, etc. The e-commerce industry as we call it. Now, in the e-commerce industry, there is a high volume and velocity of data. So, it's not, not just the volume of data which you are talking about. Data is coming in at a tremendous speed. And it's a mixture of real-time and batch data. Today, people have to create processing by conventional means is not enough. You have to take a decision in real time. Like, uh, I mean, it's not just a reporting which we are looking at. We are looking at taking an action. Like beverage industries like PepsiCo, they are today globally able to access the temperature data and based on that, a decision is taken on how much, how many trucks to dispatch to the shops. Because it has been found that there is a direct correlation between the temperature in the afternoon hours, let's say between 11 to 4 or 11 to 5 and the consumption of some drinks. So once they found that correlation, now they have to actually, the, the faster they could rush the trucks to the various outlets, the greater the revenue or greater the business. So then get the unstructured data, the data on social media, which is not following a structure, it's just a conversation. So there, analytics had to be in conjunction with artificial intelligence or as we call it, AI. <clears throat> then came analytics 4.0. Now 4.0 was automated, embedded and ubiquitous. It is data captured everywhere, not only through traditional methods, but also through Internet of Things or IoT. For example, if there is a CCTV, a simple example, a CCTV located at a mall today. If there is an unusual movement, if there is a person, by face recognition, we detect that there is a person who is not supposed to be there at, let's say, 1 o'clock in the morning, an alarm will be sent to the security guard. Because it's not possible for the security guard to be everywhere. But wherever he's sitting at the front, he immediately comes to know that there is a person at such and such point who has trespassed. How does it know? CCTV by virtue of face recognition. So that's just one technology. Then there is a technology also available by virtue of which we've already talked about the temperatures which are transmitted constantly the temperature of the atmosphere at any point in time. You also have technologies today which can tell you the speed at which a machine is moving and it can take action immediately so that if the machine is moving at a faster speed or at a slower speed than what it should be, the machine will be brought to a halt. So this is the big data challenge and we have covered the evolution of analytics through various phases. So it now involves not more just managing it, uh, volumes of data but much more than that. It is making sense out of the data and take decisions immediately 
as Gartner said it, help organizations make better decisions. So as the demand for information, analysis, micro level identification of the consumer, real time information, forecasting based on certain patterns and trends, analytics will obviously has now spilled out outside the CIO's office. It is no longer the preserve of the technical people, of the technical team of organization, but it has gone outside the, the data warehouse and it has spilled into each and every department within the organization as a whole. Today we have a situation where queries are not predetermined. Queries are generated by the data. Traditionally, the data, the query will use the data to generate a reply or a response. But today, based on our data, it will tell you on a certain piece of data, unusual piece of data just come in, it will tell you that look, there's something going on there. The machine will take, and that is where also analytics combines with artificial intelligence or AI. So I think, so we'll now, in the next session, we'll cover more details about artificial intelligence and the various utilities of AI or data science as a whole. Thank you.